Welcome back to Decentralized News. So Coinbase stock has uh, actually ballooned uh, nearly 60% in uh, five days and uh, crypto equities actually on the whole are outperforming. But uh, a lot of analysts saying that uh, this uh, little rally might not last. And of course, this is coming um, following uh, the exchange sell off uh, that we saw uh, this uh, past week uh, following uh, the SEC wars that uh, obviously Coinbase had uh, and uh, the story with the insider trading, uh, some assets being declared securities that were listed on the exchange. And uh, now the stock is actually outperforming the broader stock market and uh, rival digital asset uh, focused firms as well. So they rallied about uh, sort of 16% midway Thursday's uh, trading session. And uh, that brought the, brought the actual stock's uh, five-day gains to nearly 60%, leaving uh, uh, the majority of uh, the crypto-related equities and uh, all the other tech stocks pretty much uh, far behind. And uh, the Bitcoin-friendly business, intelligence firm MicroStrategy and uh, crypto financial services firm Galaxy Digital have also locked in gains of uh, 15% and uh, 14% over the last five trading days respectively so of course you know uh this stock had uh, taken quite the beating and uh i think microstrategy or galaxy digital and uh, a lot of these guys are just trying to um sort of cash out uh some of the um gains uh when uh, the market is rallying towards you know putting this uh, stock up as they've seen so obviously the tech uh, savvy um Nasdaq uh, also is uh, quite, you know, doing a little bit um, on the on the on the right side. If you look at uh, the last couple of days, and also Coinbase itself being said to be ranking third on uh, Fidelity's uh, top buys and sales rundowns, with uh, just over two thousand one hundred and ninety eight buy orders and some two thousand eight hundred and fifty eight sell orders just yesterday. And uh, the run-up also followed the news of uh, uh, the exchange's uh, uh, prime brokerage uh, service partnering with uh, the asset manager BlackRock. Obviously, we saw uh, a lot of people reacting to that news and uh, BlackRock partnering with Coinbase in this instance to offer institutional trading, which is a development uh, in the industry that uh, a lot of people are hoping is going to sort of uh, spare more adoption on the institutional side and might actually bring in a lot of uh, capital inflows into the space as well. So prime brokerage units are long under the purview of uh, investment banks, of course, extend to institutional buy siders uh, services, including uh, clearing trades and uh, also proving leverage and uh, um, capital introductions. And uh, Coinbase's bounce, of course, this is, uh, like I said, coming following that dip and uh, through that probe and that whole uh, issue of uh, that gentleman who was uh, said to be uh, inside the trading for a while. And uh, even obviously we've seen uh, with things, uh, other, other stocks uh, in the, that are sort of uh, crypto related as well, not doing too badly. But uh, of course, uh, Coin, uh, Coinbase at this point this week being really on uh, the positive side. Let me know what you think. If you are somebody that trades stocks, is uh, you know Coin uh, something that you hold? Uh, I personally, of course, do not hold uh, Coinbase uh, stock at all. But uh, I just saw this story. I thought I would share the findings with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. And don't forget to check out links in the description to my books, Tokenized Trillions. Also check out our Telegram and our Discord server. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Suggest content you'd like to see on this channel. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.